Let's look how the chamfer can be created in the self-cut app. If you look through the modify panel, you'll see that there are two modifiers that are responsible for creating a chamfer, the chamfer and the fillet tools. We will learn these two tools separately. And let's start from the first one. The chamfer modifier creates a chamfer on the object's edges. This modifier divides each edge into two, cutting the sharp edges of the chamfer. We can use it to the whole object so all the edges will be affected. Or we can select needed areas on our own. To do this, go to the edge selection mode in the control panel. Select all desired edges and apply chamfer to them. To learn all tools and features, let's look what the settings panel consists of. The preview button allows you to see the result of the modifier action in the viewport window while you are setting it up. Here you actually can see the chamfer in action, how it divides one edge into two, creating a chamfer. The intensity sets the size of the chamfer. Moving the slider or entering a numeric value into the index input field you can change the chamfer scaling intensity of the modifier action on the selected edges. If you open the Fill Settings tab, you will find three modes of the geometry fill in the drop-down. Let's go through each one. The Fill Polygon mode is by turning the value off, the fill of the object's geometry disappears. Only the area of the future chamfer is left. Also, if you turn off the Fill Edges function, the fill of the chamfered edges will be lost. And the last one is called the fill corner. If this function is turned on, the fill of the chamfered angles are seen. And of course, you won't forget about the advanced settings. You can choose the unit of measurement here. It can be displayed in length or in percentage. There is no rule of which one to use and when. So you can choose the right one for yourself according to what you are modeling. And that's basically all about the chamfer modifier. Subscribe to not miss another tutorial.